wanted to make a short video about my experiences using my own router with uh, Hikari Fiber. Uh, I have the uh, AU Hikari 10 gig service from KDDI, which usually comes with an ONU and an A-term rental modem. You, the setup is uh, Fiber comes into the ONU and then RJ45 to their router and then off to your LAN. And while the engineer was here installing the fiber, I asked if I was allowed to use my own router and he said, just turn their router off and then plug mine in and wait. Um, so I picked up an Edge Router Infinity, which has eight 10 gig SFP plus cages uh, and then some modules to go with that. The, the idea was to have the fiber come in to earn you, then connect into the Edge Router and then my LAN. Uh, of course, it wasn't quite so simple. Uh, when you plug in the edge router, you I did not get a DHP IP. Uh, it turns out that I had to clone the MAC address of the HR, which is a bit odd, but uh, pretty easy to do. And at which point, uh, everything worked for about 24 hours. And then it just stopped talking. At which point, I had to reconnect the HR for about a minute. It did a bit of a chatting. Um, and then I could return to Edge Router and everything was working. This turns out to be EAP or EAPOL, uh, which is a handshake between their router and the ISP. Uh, their router basically pings them about once an hour. And if the ISP hasn't heard that for about 24 hours, then it turns off, uh, which is a bit annoying um, and it feels a bit unnecessary. So uh, I went and plugged in the A-term to one of the spare LAN porch on the edge router. Uh, I couldn't get it to uh, DHP uh, since it has some sort of a special DHP client. The Japanese forums did mention that someone had managed to get it to uh, DHP for an IP but didn't give any information which is not very useful. But it turns out uh, when you want to proxy EAP you don't actually need an IP since it's on the Ethernet layer. So I installed uh, EAP proxy uh, which came from GitHub there, and it just runs on the Edge router in the background, and whenever the ATOM changes the challenge, it forwards it onto the ISP and then back again. So then it sits there and happy. The ATOM is pretty much a dead device, as it just sits there with no Wi-Fi and doesn't do any routing. It's just to authenticate every hour or so. It's a bit of a shame, and perhaps if I had more time, I could look at doing EAP myself, but it seems unlikely. But at least it's working and it's been up for two weeks now, a little bit over, and um, I'm pleased with it so far. I did try one final thing. I took the uh, SFP module out of the ONU, so their module, and plugged it straight into the Edge router. And I do get an SFP module inserted message, but the uh, Ethernet stays down, it never comes up, so it never tries to DHCP. So it was a bit of a shame. I was hoping to be able to get rid of the ONU as well as the A-term. Uh, but for now, it's, uh, it's all working well, and I'm quite pleased with it. That is all.